I have a question, Richard, since you serve business owners, Uh this is kind of like a two-part question because it's what do you tell the business owner? What do you suggest? What do you try to help them with? And are you like following the same advice type of thing? So the question being, are you working 40, 50, 60 hours a week? Are you working 100, 120? Are you working five or 10? And what do you share with your client on should they be working their ass off? Should they just be busting, you know, burning the candle from both ends? Should they uh, try not to work at all and just be on vacation all the time? Where are you in your idea and thoughts of of where should we uh, strive to be? Okay. So, Obviously, every business is different, okay? And also time in business, right? If you're in startup mode, you're going to be working. There's no 20-hour weeks, okay? You're going to be working your 40s, your 60s, whatever. You you hear it all. Now, I am a big, I'm not a fan of the hustle and grind culture. I think that's just a lie. It's just a marketing tool for people. Because what it does, you can make it, you know, if you're not making a trillion dollars a year, you're lazy. That's what that says, you know? It's like you constantly got to be just harder, 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 harder all the time. I'm like, it's not sustainable. Okay. I go into businesses and I make them stop doing that. And guess what happens? They double and triple the revenue. They work half to a third as much business, but the business now was billing properly. They're charging the right prices. They've got all the right people in place to manage this, right? So it completely alters what it is. And the owner, I have a philosophy, Adam, and it's my goal is to get the owner to focus on the 5% of the business that only they can work on, only they can do. Okay. So I want to, so if only you only worked on 5% of your business and that would be maybe growth and vision and stuff like that, not let me do the books, let me sweep the floors, let me, let me run the management, let me go out and check the job sites or whatever it is, right? I don't want that. I have to remove them from that. But in order to do that, we do in the business, we have to systemize. We have to create systems and processes that people can work in, right? People come and go, systems stay. So we perfect a system that we can put people into easily and they can get up to speed and they can operate without micromanagement, right? They understand exactly where they're going in the business. They understand their expectations, their boundaries, where they're going, what's expected of them, level through level through level. So we build all that out for them, that then begins to remove the owner. Now he goes from 60, 80 hours a week to 40, down to 35, down to 30, down to 20. My goal is to really get him about 10 hours a week. Okay. So, and that's not next week. Okay. It's, it's in time. You're going to be between, between 10 and 15 hours a week. Again, like I said, I, I work in businesses. They've been doing business for 37 years, 47 years, very successful, making a lot of money. They'll even tell you, because I always ask this, like, you're never 100% removed. You can't, okay? Now, you can if you someone writes you a check and they buy the business. That's when you're 100% removed. Okay, you're going to go. But you can systemize with literally 10 hours a week is that's two hours a day. You know, yeah. some of that's even remote. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but the captain still has to get on the helm once in a while, right? And and and, and check courses and things like that, where we go on and make sure we're getting where we're going, right? Really important. So that's what I teach businesses. You know, get all those those 12 points I talked about earlier. Again, the the performance is is cash flow, right? Performance is making money. Most business owners, most entrepreneurs can make money. That's really not their issue. Their issue is system, their issue is systemization, strategy, meaning long-term planning. What are we really doing? And then scalability. How do you truly scale? We've all seen the businesses that have grown, 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 then all of a sudden they're gone because they 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 outpaced themselves. They weren't ready for a massive scale. They could have done a second or third location, but they went for 25 and now they're done. <laughs> 